In this demo, I will demonstrate how to use the MDT database. So this is the deployment workbench, and if I go to the advanced configuration node, I can actually create a database in here. As you can see, I've added a database uh, on the SQL Express instance. If I wanted to do this all over again, I can simply right click and say new, and create a new database. And follow this with flood. After adding a database, I can in and add, for example, computers to it. So I've added a machine in here with uh, an identifier of the MAC address. And in the details tab, I have actually set a computer name for this machine. In the roles tab, I have created two different roles, one accounting and one engineering. And in the accounting role, I have added the uh, domain to join and the OU in Active Directory to add that account in, meaning all the machines belonging to this role will have these settings. And to assign a role to a computer, I would simply go to that computer and go to roles and then assign one or more roles to that uh, PC. If I go back to the roles, I can also use this for assigning um, applications. So I can go applications and as you can see I've added from the repository two different applications. Meaning again, if the computer belongs to this role, it will also get these two applications installed. And we can move up and down these applications in order if you want to have a specific uh, application installed before another one. I can also do location-based settings, based on sites. So I can have different settings for the Stockholm site, which is defin defined by this default gateway. I can, for example, set the time zone to uh, 110. But for my Copenhagen site in Denmark, which is a different de default gateway, I can go to details and I can say time zone should be 105, which is the Danish time zone for, for XP deployments. I can also do make and model settings. So I can add my models in here and say that for this Compaq 8510 I should have the following screen resolution. But for my Latitude D630, my Dell machine, which is using a different screen, I should have a different resolution. In order for MDT to use these features, we need to change the rules file, the custom set is in the file, to actually query the database. And you do that by right clicking the database and select configure rules. And then you'll be prompted by a small wizard. And this will simply specify, okay, what are the settings I want to be querying the database about? So in this example, I'm only going to query for settings and roles for this computer. For locations, I will only query for location-based settings. And for make model, I will only qu query for the exact settings for those models. And for roles, I will query for everything but the uh, SMS packages and admin administrators. And when clicking finish here, you can actually see that the rules are now being updated with instructions to actually also query the database uh, for additional settings.